What's up YouTube? It is your boy JB and I am here with the review for Marriage and Medicine. I believe this is season 8 episode 14, 13, 14, 14, Scott's Secret. All right guys, before we get into this review, if you guys are watching this video or any other video on the channel and you're not already subscribed to the channel, what we doing? Why we keep going on dates and you guys not, you know, pay for the dinner. Hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell button, and let's go ahead and just talk about this episode, shall we? All right, you guys. Honestly, this episode wasn't a lot. So we're going to, you know, dress it up, try to stretch it out. But let's talk about it. So Anila. Um, so Anila went over to Quad's house. Anila went over there with a bag in her hand, and the bag was full of weave. Extensions. I was like, oh, okay. So, mm, I, 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 I'm stuck. You went to her house with hair extensions. Okay, if you, I mean, hey, it is what it is. Um, yeah. Oh, I need to buy some new socks. Um, yeah. So then they sit down and they have a conversation about Toya. I'm stretching this out as best as I can. And I can't. So yeah, they had the conversation about Toya. They talk about Toya not taking ownership of what she does. That I will agree with them about that when Toya says and does shit, she does not like to take ownership for it and accountability for it. I will give them that one. Would it have been easier just to have a conversation in the scene with Toya to address this? Maybe that would have been too much like right, but let's move on. Um, let's go ahead and talk about this scene with Jackie, because with the scene with Jackie, it was literally just a promotion for her, the product that she has, because Anila went over to her house. See, here's my thing. Anila has talked about Quad, not Quad, but Toya twice in this episode, and it's just like, wouldn't it have been easier for, you know, what production is just stretching this one out. But like I said, this scene right here with Jackie was just literally a product placement scene so that way they could push Jackie's business out because at, at the, on the screen, you saw the QR code. But Anila went over to her house and it just so happened when she got there at the door, there was a package for Jackie. Okay, I'm going to play along like it was actually sitting there the whole time. Um... So once again, they're talking about Toya. And they're actually talking about what happened at the, what was the situation? Oh, the town hall. Because <clears throat> Jackie didn't go to it, which we'll talk about the town hall in just a little bit. Um, you know, Anila says that when it comes down to her and Toya, she hasn't talked about Toya. You don't think that she's been talking, <gasps> oh, excuse me, I didn't mean to burp in your face. The only thing that she's been talking about when it comes to Toya is salvaging their friendship. I'm like, okay. And I will give her that. She hasn't said anything bad about Toya, but even with Toya, we didn't see her say anything to the, these ladies. To these ladies. Toya said something to the ladies in the tennis group in your, in your uh, HOA. I think that's who Toya talked to, not to anybody on camera. So, yeah. Suffice it to say, like I said, this was a way just for Jackie to promote her product. So she needed one of the ladies to come over so that she could show it to him. That's all that was product placement. Jackie is on her candy bird type ish. And I ain't mad at it. But let's move on. All right, guys, next let's talk about contestant Scott. Ooh, 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 ooh. I don't know what to say when it comes to contestant Scott. Part of me wants to say I hope that this is real, but the other part of me wants to say I hope this is just for reality TV. And as a double-edged sword on both ends. Because one side, like I said, I hope it's for reality TV. Because if it's for reality TV and they're just doing this for a storyline, that's not good, but that's not bad either. It's, it's not the best thing either. But if it's real, then it's terrible. So Contessa was cooking dinner for the family. And then her life coach called. So while she's in the middle of talking to her life coach, Scott comes in. And, you know, 
This guy was like, do you want me to go somewhere? She's like, oh no, we're just wrapping up. I would have said, yeah, go into the room, go to the bathroom, go somewhere. You don't need to hear this conversation. Because remember, when I went to Simone's house for that couple's dinner, you know, contest like she was going back off of the couple's counseling with Scott, you need to ramp it up. Like I said, if this is not for a storyline, you need to ramp it up like yesterday. Because there are holes in this relationship. This foundation is rocky. Like super duper rocky. Just being honest with you. you Got to call it like I see it. So the life coach, she's mentioned that, you know, she mentioned something about contestants not wanting to whine and complain. And Scott's face was like, and I was like, oh. And then Scott chimed in. I was like, now, Scott, I know Contessa told you you didn't have to leave, but you didn't have to chime in as well. Like, you, didn't, you definitely didn't have to chime in when it came to the negative stuff. You know what I'm saying? You know, if you felt some type of way, you could have just been like, you know, you could have made your faces and whatever, or you could have just, you know, been stoic, whatever. I don't know. But, yeah. And then the fact that, you know, once they hung up, she hung up the call with her, they got into it. And then we found out that Scott has his, you know, he has his own life coach that he hasn't paid yet. And I'm like, wait a minute, what kind of life coach is that? You got a life coach that you've been talking to for the last seven months or so, and you haven't paid them a dime? That doesn't sound like a life coach to me. Because I don't know anybody who's going to sit there and listen to your issues, your problems for free. Unless you're not having sex with them. You know what? Shut up. Mm -mm. We ain't putting that out there. We are not putting that out there. But let's move on. All right, you guys. So we're going to wrap up with Simone. So we see Simone. She's at home and she's getting ready for a Zoom call with the other ladies. And then Cecil comes in. So she tells Cecil that, you know, she has something that she wants to show him. And he's like, oh, crap, do I need to get something to drink? She says, you might want to get something to drink. So then they go and sit down in the living room at the TV, and there is a news report about Lisa Nicole. So there is an issue with Lisa Nicole and COVID testing. And I was like, huh? Lisa Nicole, COVID testing. Those two don't add up. Those two don't go together. That doesn't add up to me. Lisa Nicole is not a doctor. Now, Dr. Darren is a, you know, but we ain't saw Dr. Darren all see We have not saw Dr. Darren one point this season. I guess Dr. Darren said, forget these women. The last time they tried to drag my name through the mud, I will never be involved with that show. If Lisa wants to be a part, and once again, you guys, excuse me, didn't mean to burp in your face. He said, if Lisa wants to be a part of it, let her be a part of it. But I know. So yeah, like I said, Lisa Nicole and COVID testing didn't go together. So then we see everyone minus Jackie show up for the town hall. The town hall, I will say it was a good, you know, it, it looked, it really looked nice. Um, so before, you know, they started, you know, Simone told Lisa like, hey, when our ladies get here, you might want to address what happened on the news with this whole COVID situation. So they sit down for dinner and Lisa does address the issue. She said she had a delay in results. And even contestants were like, wait a minute, I thought she did fashion. When did she come up with the lab? So Lisa said that she did to do the, you know, she has a lab, but they, they did do the testing, but they would send it off to a third party for them to do the results. But then she said that the results were delayed. And Kwa was like, she was talking about July, but it was October at that time. I'm like, wait a minute. And I was with Quad. When are they going to find out? When they in the grave? Like, if I'm coming to you for a COVID test and I'm waiting and, you know, I, I came to you for a COVID test in July and it's October, you know, July, August, September and October have passed and I ain't got my damn results. Something's wrong. Like, I got an issue right there. Like, girl, how do I know that I'm not how, like... I could be, I could be one asymptomatic and don't know it. I could have gotten sick since, you know, my since if I did have COVID at that time when I got the COVID test, I could have went unknown and, and then my symptoms, if I had symptoms or anything, they could have got worse and I'd be in a hospital on, you know, hooked up to a ventilator thanks to you 
and your, you know, your, um, your mishandling of the situation. So um, Kwan does ask her, she under an investigation? She says, no. I'm like, hmm, you would be under investigation with me because that's playing with someone's health. Like, don't get into, involved in things. Like, don't get involved with things just for a quick buck. And I'm not saying that's what Lisa did, but girl, don't get involved in it. Like, if you have no working knowledge of it, don't get involved in something that you have no working knowledge of. Make sure you do the research. Make sure you know what's what. But you know, it is what it is. So, um, Simone tells them, the ladies, that they're going to be going to Jekyll Island. Now, Toya. Toya, you know, when she was talking about, a, you know, Simone mentioned a sisterhood. And Toya just looked at I'm like, oh my God, Toya, why? Toya, I was kind of trying to figure out if Toya was drunk at that point or not. Toya finds the most inopportune time to make a scene. Because that's literally what she did. She wanted to talk about Anila, but it was really you. Anila is upset because of the way you treat her. And I'm actually on Anila's side. I was with Anila when she walked down and said, fuck this. I was on Anila's side. And I ain't been on Anila's side a lot, but I was on her side. So then to wrap this up, the ladies, they all meet over at Jackie's. Well, shit, were they at Jackie's clinic to go to Jekyll Island? Lisa Nicole showed up in her RV and they go to Heavenly's house so that they can pick up her and Contessa. Things were smooth and going good on the, on the RV up until the point where Heavenly and Lisa Nicole got into it about the whole COVID testing. Honestly. Just gonna keep her now. Heavenly was wrong when she said, Jim, you know, Heavenly. When I think about it and think about Heavenly, the only reason why Heavenly always goes with the whole your mama joke is because Heavenly doesn't know how to read a person. That's what it is. Heavenly's the type of person that doesn't know how to read. So her first go to is your mama. Is that all you got? Is that the best you can do? Is my mama, my mama, someone that you don't know? Okay, talk about me. Me, not the person that I came from. Rib me, because I can rib you. I can go in on you. I can go in on you about your terrible wigs. I can go in on, like, there are so many things that I can go in on you about, Heavenly. That would be me with Lisa Nicole. I'd be like, you know, anybody, Lisa Nicole, Mariah. What you want to talk about, Heavenly? Because we can go at it. We can go toe to toe, boo boo. We can go there. We can go there. But yeah, you guys, that's the episode. There are two more episodes left into the reunion, so. They'll probably end the week before Potomac comes on. All right, you guys, that's it. Um, leave your comments in the comment section below. Subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification bell button so you guys are aware of when I drop anything else. Share the video. Subscribe, share, like, comment, subscribe, share. <coughs> yeah, I think I said everything. Stay safe, you guys. Take care of yourselves. Wash your hands. Wear your mask or not, whichever one you do, just be safe in what you do and be blessed, you guys. And um, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.